Time to review Pharaoh, the new Total War title. I'll be quick and to the point. First, thank you very much to the Creative Assembly to grant me early access so that I could play the title and have the opportunity to test it out a little bit. I have to be honest that I have not played nearly as much as I would like, and I do want to continue playing. However, I've been able to view much of it from other content creators, have been in talks with many of them to grasp some of their main ideas, as well as chatting with the people on social media about the game. So the game, it's set in the Bronze Age period, this is the map. It has been a requested era for an historical Total War game, although not the most requested, since that is for medieval or empire eras. But I believe in judging a game for what it is, not for what it is not. So, what do we have? We have eight playable factions, the four Egyptians, the two Canaanites, and the two Hittites. There are already more DLCs announced with other factions, but CA has not yet uncovered all their details, so I'll not pronounce against that. Now, every fraction does feel rather unique in their playstyle, but it's not limited to it. You are incentive to play into a specific strength or set of strengths, but you are welcome to change your mind even during the campaign. Now, the Bronze Age period unfortunately does not have a lot of unit variety. For the most part, you'll have tons of different melee and ranged infantry options and chariots, and that is it. There's no cavalry in this period. Campaign customization is where you will find a ton of variety though, as you can customize most important aspects of the game. This is actually one of my favorite topics of this game, and I hope this becomes a staple in other future Total Wars. There's also a wonderful encyclopedia with tons of information worthy of the library of Alexander itself, or close enough. The campaign offers a wonderful playthrough of your attempts to overcome every obstacle to become pharaoh or king and to defeat the impending doom that fell over the real-life counterparts on what is known as the Bronze Age Collapse. I'll be straight to this. Here's my rating to the game. 8 out of 10. You should acquire if you have a particular interest in the Bronze Age, you enjoy infantry combat, you like to see massive armies fight, you were waiting for a return to the more historical-based playstyle with formations, weather, terrain, lacking the fantasy elements, you have a great PC and would like to enjoy the very good performance of the game in visuals, it still works on lower end, don't worry, and you are interested in a Total War title which gives you a challenge and decision-making decision choices well into the late game. This is a key point. Price is not an issue for you at the current time, or if you wish, you can wait for a sale. If you allow me another remark to finalize. I mentioned that I would like to judge the game for what it is, not what it isn't. The game runs well, does a good job of giving you precisely a Bronze Age Total War period experience. Any other company doing this title, you would jump to it. So why not this? Often we gamers speak about how we could provide feedback to the gaming companies what we, what we like or dislike. I am concerned of what type of response we give to a company that actually has delivered in this case. On my behalf, thank them for a title that was always a necessity to be produced at one point, so why not now? See you guys.